Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today, we'll talk very important pattern that is builder design pattern. Before that, let me introduce myself. I am Vivek Pagar. I'm software engineer at Globant and I hold around six years of experience in the mobile application development. Please do like, follow, subscribe for such more videos. And if you want to contribute to the Mid Kotlin community, please reach out to us on the email mentioned in the description. So let's get started. So what is builder design pattern? It's a creational design pattern that deals with the object create mechanism, trying to create object in a manner suitable to the situation. The basic form of object creation could result in the design problem or in added complexity to the design. This design pattern solves this problem by somehow controlling this object, which means it is an alternative way to construct the complex object and should be used only when we want to build the different types of immutable objects using the same object building process. So let's quickly move to Kotlin Playground where we will see a small program to get a clear understanding what the pattern is. Uh, let's see how do we create a builder class. Firstly, we create a small object to create a builder, the final object of our main class and build it on main class. Builder class should have a public constructor with all the required parameters. Then construct an object in a multiple pieces but making sure the end result in the same create getters and setters as the variable are privates so no one can access them outside. But we are providing the access through the setters and getters. The name of the method are the sufficiently self documenting. The builder design patterns provide API for constructing an object step by step. In main class, we have create a build function, can name it get and or anything else which make the target object. So let's take a look at the example. Firstly, we are creating a person with a builder class having cons a private constructor with some parameters, then having a few uh, variables declared in it. Now let's create a builder class which will be an internal class with a constructor containing parameters and init block. Like I mentioned earlier, we have to create a one internal function where it will return the object of main class. See, here I have created one internal function and named as a build where it will be returning the object of main class. As you can see here, I have declared few variables as a private at main class level. So no one can access them from outside. So we are providing access to them through setters and getters method. So let's add few methods to access them from outside. Here you can see I have added few methods to access them from outside. Now looking at our code, we gain the ability to make our code much more readable in a couple of ways like the constructor is very short and simplified. It's perfectly fine to set the other properties later. Can clearly understand each and every parameter when initiating a new person like it's like a reading English. You are clearly setting other properties and finally invoking the build method to create a person. Each logic is now isolated in separate block where we can easily follow through. When you are doing some changes, you only need to focus on one thing, which is whatever that got isolated in function block. The question is how to call it. So here is the code snippet to calling it. As you can see, we are calling builder, passing some parameter to its constructor and also setting few fields like set date and dob so let's have a look over a class diagram in this class diagram the director class doesn't create and assemble objects directly instead the director refers to the builder interface for building the parts of complex object which makes the director independent of which concrete class are instantiate so why to use builder design pattern Firstly, it follows single responsibility principle states that every module or class should have responsibility over a single part of the functionality provided by the software and that responsibility should be entirely encapsulated by the class. Having a more parameters to a constructor is a not a good option to handle a product and also using multiple constructor by overloading them with the more and more parameter also not a good option so we can overcome this problem by using builder design pattern so when to use builder design pattern in some cases we need to build a complex object step by step then we can go with the builder design pattern 
and some objects are simple and can be created using single constructor but there are some constructor which may need more and more parameter to construct the object so we have to use builder design pattern and suppose we want to create a custom input data type to build the original return type value of parameters then we can go with the builder design pattern i hope now you have a better idea and understanding about builder design pattern and know when to use it thank you